quality speakers that are affordable can be hard to come across. However, one company has managed to crack the code on making high fidelity comparable speakers that are more affordable than some other name brands out there. In this video, Audio Engine helped explain the process that goes into making their well-beloved speakers. Audio Engine is a company that specializes in making high-quality speakers that don't break the bank. Countless reviews from influencers, everyday users, and media outlets continuously rave about the quality for the price. So, what are some of the things that go into making a speaker at Audio Engine? Most of our products are two years in development, and as you know, technology, technology changes so quickly. So when you're trying to do this, we're trying to be really far ahead of what we're doing and making sure we're using the best quality uh, pieces to build, as well as trying to have foresight into what is the world going to look like two years from now? And what are we going to need? What are we working on today? There are things clearly that we can do a lot faster than others, but a true R&D, you not only get the prototype and then you got to bring it in and then you do everything that you can do for weeks to try to break it. It goes through not only the engineers, but it comes through our user experience team in the back. It goes through our sales team, it goes through me, it goes through our CEO. When we get a new product, I, I've got the brand new N22 on my desk right now that I'm testing with, with our passive P4 speakers. We actually build and manufacture all of those ourselves, so we don't have any other brand components of that. They're all sourced for audio engines specifically. They looked at different cabinets, they looked at different finishes, they looked at different components of how to build the drivers for the tweeters, the, um, the, the woofers, what to build those out of. So they are airman fiber woofers, which is basically a carbon fiber weave. And that thicker material allows for the speaker to actually push that sound out. So it's not real lightweight paper that you can get away with in some cases on a, on a on a less expensive speaker that has a cover on it because it's not going to get damaged. Whereas these are harder to damage, they're just a thicker material. The tweeters that they use are, are silk tweeters. And I think one of the other things that they do in the testing phase is they try to go with that studio quality sound. We don't really mess with, with the DSP, so the, the, the digital signal processing. We don't change the way the artist intends that sound to come through. So, some, some companies will boost their bass or they'll make some of the other sound a little bit heavier so that it changes how that sound is. We've gone through phases where people really want to hear that bass in their music. And what Audio Engine want to do is provide the experience that the music was supposed to sound like without changing it. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have certain equalizers that we change to make sure that sound is more of a, a theatrical sound. So you hear a musical sound not just exactly the way it goes, but we're not making that bass uh, any different than what it's supposed to sound. We're located in Sherman, Texas, which is in the North Dallas part. We have all of our marketing, all of our user experience, all of our customer support and leadership is in this office. As far as production and warehousing, we have a production and a warehouse in Hong Kong, and that's where we have everything manufactured and we ship that into the United States uh, when it's completed and ready. And then we actually will also ship internationally from Hong Kong. You know, we're looking for some warehousing opportunities in Europe right now. Uh, we have a huge warehouse here in the United States, right in Sherman. When you look at the building and you look at what we have inside of it, it's one of the one of the more expensive areas of operation because we have so much product here. All of our components are delivered out of the United States. Um, but everything's manufactured in Hong Kong. Finding an international distributor in India right now, I'm also looking for um, somebody in South Africa. I'm looking for areas in Asia where I will grow in, in Europe, but as of now, what we're trying to focus on is getting our Amazon platform off the ground and really trying to dive in to allow more people in Europe to, um, to be able to find audio engine. Influencer market's blowing up for us. We got people that are wanting to, to showcase the brand. I've got, we just signed one in Australia. Uh, we've got one in Italy. And they're really looking, they're excited to find Audio Engine and be able to get it locally because most of what they've had to do, they've had to order from the United States. And now there's going to be opportunity for them to go for retailers. When I'm talking to international distributors, in some of the other countries, people are still going into stores and listening to speakers. So they have an advantage to be able to go in and hear an audio engine speaker on the shelf. 
and compare that to Eclipse or compare that to a Sony program or something like that, which I think is neat. You know, in the United States, we've gotten to the point where we don't shop at the store very often. We just order it. The guys who created the speaker, it, it's their baby. They wanted to do this. They are music fans. They wanted to make sure the sound was amazing. They want somebody to plug that speaker in, get it out of the box, be able to set it up in less than 10 minutes, have it connect Bluetooth, and let you start enjoying the music that you've been wanting to hear. We want to make sure that our customers are repeat customers, that when they come back and they say, hey, Audio Engine took care of everything. Okay. Um, so the last thing we want to do is put out a product that wasn't completely researched, developed, tested, and one of our products, our D1, which is our, our DAC, we actually ran it over with a car about three weeks ago just to see if it would survive, and it did. Not that we're going to, you can't run over a speaker like that, but we really run those speakers through the gamut. You know, we turn them up all the way as loud as they'll go, and we let them run for hours. We try to connect every type of device that you can think of to see if there's anything in there that is preventing it from connecting properly. Our number one focus is the customer experience, and we have the number one warranty that I can see in all the speakers. We offer it for three years. So if something goes wrong with your A2s and it's under three years, we have actually replaced those. This is Movie University, education and cinema.